It is November 2nd today and it, it is cold out. Last couple of days in Wisconsin has been a little unseasonable. Normally it's not this cold this fast in October. We, we, I went deer hunting yesterday, it was like 19 degrees. Wanted to try and get the boat out a couple more times yet this year before we uh, put it away and start ice fishing. Yes, I said it, ice fishing. It'll be here before you know it. We're super stoked for the ice fishing season. Uh, we got a lot of stuff planned for this ice fishing season. We got some new things that are gonna be coming to the channel this ice fishing season too. So if you're not already, hit that subscribe button down below. We're gonna be heading out on the Fox River tonight. Again, like I said, it is November. My buddy Warren is gonna be joining me tonight. We're gonna to be casting crankbaits and hopefully putting some really decent sized fish in the boat tonight. We got a bunch of rain a couple of weeks ago that pushed a ton of fish up uh, into the river just from the current that we got here. And uh, yeah, fishing's been really, really good. Warren just arrived. How's it going, buddy? Uh, one more thing, I do have these awesome eat sleep walleye sweatshirts available on my website if you're looking for a sweet hoodie to wear around when you're walleye fishing whether you're ice fishing on the boat whatever it may be um, these things are pretty thick they're pretty warm uh, it'll support the channel everything that we make from sweatshirt sales will basically go right back into the channel uh, for this year and 2024 so if you're interested in that i'll leave a link down in the description below they're available on my website get you one we're gonna put the boat in the water hopefully catch some fish tonight so stick with us stay tuned let's start fishing oh man it feels like spring it's gonna be a gorgeous night tonight though we're gonna start kind of up by the dam tonight and hopefully we don't have to move too far from there got a good southerly breeze tonight as the temps start to drop it's just gonna be uh be an absolutely gorgeous night it's gonna be a fun one yeah, there he is. Slow retreat. No, that was a pull pause. So I just bombed a cast out there and then you got hit. Oh, yeah. Good one. Good one. Sure. Look at that thing. Yeah. Let's go. Fatty, dude. Nice fish. Extremely difficult to film. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of light. We're also trying to be quiet because there's some other boats around. But Warren just stuck another good one. I just lost a, a really one. nice one. It was a nice fish. Gets a line out of them. Heck yeah. I think it's got some sweet color to it. Yeah, it's a good one. A little bit grindier of a night. They're not absolutely inhaling baits, but Nope. We're chipping away at them and they're all nice, so we'll take them. We might have just figured out a new cadence, so got that going for us, but we'll keep working at them. Ooh, she was ready, huh? Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Dude, I still don't have the bait out of the net. I don't think this one's huge. Oh, yeah. I think I might just bolt flip this guy. Nah. -uh. Come on. Little guy. Off in the net, perfect. Is that a steady retrieve? Yep. There we go. Little guy, but just chunky. We're gonna send him back. Yeah, baby. That one? Yep. Good one? Yeah. Do I need to get the net? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah? Like a really good one. But yeah, that is a nice one. <laughs> Let's go. That's a good one, dude. That's a really good one. I freaking whacked it, dude. <laughs> That's a big one. That's a big one. That's nice go. work, brother. This fish actually came probably out of just a couple feet of water right when I started my cadence, so that bait wasn't down very far at all. And uh, something special about tonight, about what we're doing targeting that 12 to 15 foot of water range, and we're using shallow diving crankbaits and we're seeing a lot of these fish on live scope just under the surface following these bait fish around that they're feeding on. This is a super unique pattern that you can try to target in the fall. Yeah, we're gonna get this big girl back in the water and they're on our way home. Oh, spunky yeah. one. You got a bait on your arm. <laughs> a little hit stick. We'll take that off your arm. Got one? Let's go. I really hope 
This one did it good. It felt felt good, dude. It was the lightest little tap. And then I went to set the hook into it. It was just like I freaking snagged into a boulder. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Oh, it's gonna be a real good one. Yeah. <laughs> he tapped it so hard. Check out that fish, dude. What do you got there for? You? That is a Green Bay giant right there. I made up for the one I lost earlier. Just kind of tapped it and then uh, it kind of held up and I just let the, the bait kind of suspend in the water and it came back and smoked it. Got him the second time and that is a gorgeous walleye right there. <laughs> Fatty. There is a ton of fish. Absolute ton of fish on live scope. Oh, she was already spunky. Yeah, there's a ton of fish on live scope. All we're doing is basically casting crankbaits at them. I mean, pretty much any kind of crankbait that we've been throwing tonight, they've been munching. And let's get some more done. All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna run you guys through the bait selection that we're using here tonight. Now in the fall time, a lot of these fish, they're pushing back into the tributaries, they're pushing back in um, to shallower water. What they're doing is they're actually chasing after bait fish. So these fish are really looking to put the pounds on for the winter. Uh, they're looking for some big meals. So uh, we're running pretty much a variety of crankbaits. Pretty much everything that we're throwing tonight is working. Rapala Husky Jerks here, like this one. Uh, we got some Smithwick P10s. These are really popular in the springtime, especially out here on the Fox. The colors that have been working for us are those, those golds, those whites, um, stuff that's kind of standing out, maybe looking a little bit more like what those walleyes are actually feeding on. We've even downsized a little bit uh, to some of these Berkeley hit sticks. They've been eating those too, as well as these bigger size 13s. So you can pretty much throw a variety of stuff at them this time of the year. Like I said, you just really want to kind of slow down your cadence. Uh, we're basically slow rolling all of these baits tonight so if you're looking to pick out some baits for fall uh, definitely try to target some of these bigger baits like i said the fish aren't afraid for a big meal this time of year they're looking to pack on some pounds um, and these type of baits are definitely going to help you put bigger fish in the boat another good one <laughs> that one hit right next to the boat hell yeah dude hell yeah We'll take them like that. All right, another good fish. Check that one out, Warren. <laughs> another stud. Yeah, same thing, barely touched it, you know. Gave it a little bit of a pause, came back and smoked it. That fish is all sorts of tangled up, ready to go. That's a good fish. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, a little smaller than the last one, but. Just a good fish. Oh yeah. Man, they're all spunky, ready to go. We are having an absolute blast so far tonight. I mean, we were putting a ton of fish in the boat and they're all pretty decent sized too, so. So much fun. Yeah, baby. Heck yeah. How big, how big, how big? I don't know. Giant. Oh, oh my. It is big. It's big. <laughs> dude, you're getting some freaking tanks, dude. <laughs> dude, that's giant. All right, we got another giant in the boat. Nice uh, fish. Yeah, that is huge. That is a very girthy Green Bay walleye. Heck yeah, for sure. You want to bump them? Yeah, sure, we can bump them. There. Yeah, about 28. Yeah, almost 28. Dump her back. Yep. Gone. Gone like the wind. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> All right, so you guys just seen us catch that tank of a fish. And uh, I wanna let you guys know the rod that we're running for this presentation here tonight. And for this type of cadence, for this type of presentation, you really want a nice sensitive rod. What I have right here is a custom rod from Della Bay. Uh, these rods actually come custom made all the way from Elk River, Minnesota. I'm using a medium power, extra fast action tip on this rod. This rod right here is actually pretty dang similar to the CS Snapstick series that we released this summer for Green Bay. So if you're 
you're looking for a solid rod, um, that snap stick rod on my website would be a great option for this. So you want to, again, you want to have some stout backbone. You want to have a very sensitive tip so you can feel those bites even on a slack line. And that's exactly what this rod does. All right, guys, I apologize. I actually turned the cameras off because we were going to head in and I just freaking hooked into a freaking giant. <laughs> Look at that fish. I didn't get the hook set because, uh, like I said, I had the cameras off, but that thing is a freaking blimp. That thing is big, <laughs> head to toe. Oh my God, dude, this has got to be going like close to nine, nine, ten pounds for sure. Awesome fish. Look at the build on that. <laughs> just a tank, dude. Tank of a walleye, we just measured it. It's about 29 inches, 29 and a quarter actually to be exact. But we're gonna get this big girl back in the water. We got stuff laying everywhere. Oh my goodness, look at the girth on that fish. <laughs> Dude. Dude, it doesn't get any better than that right there. He's better move it. You guys should be in some water. <laughs> oh, you just hear their feet slapping on the ground. You know, it's a little cold and the landing's starting to ice up. Had to put her in four wheel drive. Four wheel drive, <laughs> what are you kidding me? No freaking way. <laughs> I think we might be the only ones, pal. Heck yeah, well you see those geese? They're running. <laughs> yeah, they're avoiding Sweary, that's right. Oh, they were running and you could just hear their feet like just running across the concrete. Oh yeah, well it was another fun night on Green Bay with uh, good, good buddy Warren. Thank you Warren for jumping in the boat tonight. That was a good time. For those of you that don't know, Warren and I actually both run guided trips out here on Green Bay. So it is kind of winding down towards the end of the year. We do have some availability. I am booking some ice fishing trips this year too as well. If you want to get out, do some ice fishing on the Fox River, that's going to be here before you know it. So if you're interested in any of that, um, I'll leave my link uh, to book a trip with me down below. I'll also leave Warren's link down there too as well. Share trips every now and then. Um, you know, if we if we have a bigger group or if I have a day where I can't run it, um, you know, I'll, I'll be passing you along to uh, Buddy Warren here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was a little tossed around. This, this video is gonna be a, a nightmare to edit, but uh, we caught some fish, we caught some big fish, and we had a ton of fun. So anyways, thank you guys again so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. As always, keep living your dream. We'll see you next time. Peace.